doesn't work. The kid. This is a garage. Um, it was a, a studio type apartment for my grandchild and her spouse. And we've kind of made a trade. I've given her my house, renting to, to buy. But I renovated and renovated and renovated and remodeled for my mother. It was very sad living there and it took like a huge nuclear explosion to get me out of there. And people may think this is the worst. Okay, so I'm gonna work with what I've got. And it's gonna be creative. I love air quotes. It's like an air guitar. Uh, which is good because this whole channel is all about opening up and getting my art block busted, torn down, because it is a wall. And along with that comes everything else in the right brain. And I know a lot of people are gonna not want, because you came on for from my little um, gnomes. And we put them away, we've had to pack them up. There's no room for anything, really. I don't have any of my supplies, barely. I gotta have a hot glue gun that's too hot that I never use, but I'm gonna be using it. And my drill, but not my, my uh, battery charger. And not all my little drill bits. But we're gonna do things like make covered handles out of whatever we can find, which is gonna be recycled. Um, there's a huge wall, if I turn you, there's a few huge walls that are just super black. You can't put in the cement, so you can't put any in them. And there's my dad. And I'm going to do mirrors. And while we do all this stuff, we'll also be exploring, because it's important I leave another goal for me is to share with my descendants, whatever they are, wherever they are, we have DNA everywhere, right? But to share with them how to deal with the other parts of the right brain, which are woo-woo now, they call it woo-woo, we used to call it, I don't know, crazy. But that's the stuff that I kept in the metaphysical closet, everything from, from my reincarnation stuff to lifting objects to stuff like that so we'll be talking about how to but mostly how to deal with being what you might be finding yourself being or becoming how you're trying to deal with that in my world it was taboo all my life I mean it was burned at the stake even and when I tried coming out a couple times um, I did get a lot of Black. Uh, we can talk about that too, but I think most importantly, um, sharing just what I went through doesn't mean you're anything like me, doesn't mean you want to be like me, just I'm being honest with, with, with my story, my life, and I'm going to start by being the artist I can just push out for industrial purposes because it's necessity, and whatever comes of that we'll see but i'm i'm back for four minutes <laughs>